Hi everyone, my name is JT Pilot and today we'll be making another video. This time we'll be doing another Jacksonville Fictional Mod Airport day. This is the 28th birthday. This is for January of 2024. So, yes, I know a lot of you have enjoyed the last airport day video. Th that video got, has gotten 5,000 views and 96 likes. So, I, a lot of you enjoyed it. A lot of you, I got a lot of new subscribers for that. So, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. I'm sure you subscribe to the channel just to see this airport here. Yes, this is just a wonderful um, establishment over here. Um, yeah, so today's update. We got a lot of new models. We got around six new models. Uh, we got, it's a busy winter season over in Florida. So we got a lot of Canadians coming over to the airport and a lot of Nor Northerners too from like the Northeast and the Midwest. They're all coming for a little vacation. It's nice and warm down here. Yeah, because it's cold where I live right now. So yeah, I don't live in Florida. So yes, uh, and a lot, of, a lot of people want to go on a little vacation right now. We got a lot of new um, planes and routes to supplement that. So yeah, so we'll be starting off this video by going over all the taxing aircraft, and then we'll start off with Terminal 1, Terminal 2, then Terminal 3, just like usual. So we'll be starting with the first aircraft. So starting with the first aircraft, we got United Express, Bombardier Siri-550. He's just pulling onto the runway for our flight out to Cleveland, so there you go, nice Gemini model. This aircraft is lining up for takeoff here. This is a Delta 757-200. In the yeah in the um, Gen One configuration, so we'll say this aircraft. He'll be doing a flight out to New York John Kennedy today, so that route's seen a little upgrade today. So yeah, it's a little busier route there, so that's exciting to see. Our next aircraft is the Southwest Seven Forty Seven Seven Hundred in the Maryland One livery. This aircraft we'll say he's just arrived in from. We'll do Pittsburgh for him, and we'll say he will send him out to. We'll do um we'll do Philadelphia for him. Something different there. Our next aircraft is an international aircraft. So here would be Copa Airlines, Spencer 37 800. Again, this is the NG Miles release, of course. This aircraft is just riding from Panama City and we'll be making a return flight out there, so he'll be soon taxiing over to the international gates. Our next aircraft is a, an American 777 200 ER. We, you haven't seen this aircraft in the airport day before, so here you go, it's the NG Miles version. So he will be heading out to London Heathrow later on today, so there you go. And yeah, he's taxing out for the runway. We'll go over here. Our next aircraft, we got the Alaska Airlines, but it's 47 900 ER. So the max lines are grounded, so Alaska is just setting the 900s to 800s for now. So there you go. So this not this Alaska 47 900 is taxing to the runway for a flight out to Seattle. And that is a beautiful NG model. Our next aircraft is the JetBlue, Airbus A321 200 in the balloon style. He's just arrived in from Los Angeles and we can return flight out there. Our next aircraft is the wonderful, wonderful Spirit Airlines, or A320 Neo. That's a great NG Miles release. He's just arrived in from Chicago O'Hare and you can return flight out there in the near future. Moving on to our next aircraft, this is another somewhat new model, but it isn't really realistic for today's standards. So I decided to add this model to today's update. We got the NG Miles Southwest 747 in the Coco livery. So. It's a pretty unique model. Haven't seen much of it recently, so I just decided to put in the airport date today. So we'll say this aircraft has just arrived in from San Jose in California. And we'll say uh, he'll be heading out to, we'll do, um, that's a good route for him. We'll send him out to, um, we'll do Long Beach for him. So, yeah. Our next aircraft is the um, interesting um, fancy livery, Southwest Fence, a pretty similar Max State in the pink one livery. That's Dreamliner Fans 2016's livery. Um, as I said previously in other videos, this is just an interesting delivery. Just interesting. Um, crazy how the engine models decides to make a fancy model over some other models we need, but still it's in our Southwest model. I can't really complain, so. Yeah, so we'll say this fancy delivery has just run from Sacramento, which is Dreamliner Fans' home's, home's airport, his home airport, so there you go. So he's just riding from Sacramento, and we'll send him up to you. We'll send him, um, we'll do, um, we'll do New York Rewardio for him. Our next aircraft up is we got the JetBlue Airbus A321 Neo. He's just arrived in from New York, John F. Kennedy, and we can return flight out there. So there's kind of a thing going here. A lot of North, yeah, North, yeah, Northeast flights. Our next aircraft up is we got the United Bone 47 Max 8. He's just arrived in from Denver, making a return flight out there. Have seen some Denver Max flights recently, so there you go. Our next aircraft up is we got the Delta Airbus A321 Neo. He's just arrived in from Minneapolis, St. Paul, and we can return flight out there. What a great NG model there. Yeah, another international model here. We got the Viva Airbus, Airbus A320 to shoot that Phoenix model. 
So we'll say he's just riding from Monterey and Mexico, and we'll send him right back out there. Our next aircraft is touching down on runway 34. We got the Aviation 400, I ITA Airways, so there's 850 Shine Drip. He's just touched down from Rome Fitzgerald Airport and making return for others. So that's a great AV400 release there. Our next model up is we got the Altitude Miles Jet Blue Airlines, or it's A320 200. So we'll say he has just arrived in. We'll do um, it's another Jet Blue route we could do. We'll say he's just riding from Al Albany, New York, and he's making a return flight out there. Our next aircraft up is we got the Delta Airlines, or it's A350 900 by AB400. He's just arrived in from, we'll do um, Paris Charles de Gaulle International Airport, and making a return flight out there. We got a few international flights here. This is a the subscriber route here, so I haven't talked about subscriber routes in a while. We may be doing another subscriber route special at the end of the near future, so if you do want a subscriber route, please fill out the form in the description below. So just, yeah, just give me like an aircraft model that I have in my collection. Just watch the last collection video if you're wondering about that. And just give me your just route or airport you want me to send the aircraft to. And your name, of course, your YouTube name or whatever you want to be called. So. So this Southwest M47 is Andrew. We'll say he is just riding from Baltimore and he'll be heading out to Oceanfront International Airport or Aviation 36 Airport. So that's a fictional airport that's based in my um, home state of Virginia Beach. So there you go. Um, that's pretty cool. So thank you for the thank you for the subscribe route. And if you do want to subscribe out, this use that form below. And if you do have any older um, requests on there, those I will feature those in the next subscribe route special. So that's kind of how that works. And yeah. Our next aircraft up is we got the Japan Airlines, when 787-9. He's just right, he's just right in from Tokyo, Haneda. They make him return flight out there, so pretty unique flight there. Moving on to our next aircraft, we got the Northern Pacific, 757-200 by JC Wings. That is a new model, just reviewed that on the channel, so if you're interested, just check out that review. This aircraft will say he's just arrived in from Ontario and California, and making him return flight out there. So Northern Pacific's only really doing um, California California to Nevada flights right now. They're not really doing any Pacific flights yet. So once they do that, the Jacksonville route will be moved will yeah, will be to Anchorage instead of Ontario. But I just want to include this model so in a realistic route for today's update. So there you go. Or realistic I should say this a route they might do in this fictional airport as of January twenty twenty four. So sorry about that little movement there. Our next aircraft up is we got the Silver Airlines, or ATR 42s. Haven't featured this one in a little bit. So, this aircraft, he'll be doing an intro Florida flight. So, he's just riding from Tampa, and we're going to be sending him out to Fort Lauderdale. Moving on to our next aircraft, we get the Avalo Airlines, that pretty similar to that dreadful Gemini model. We'll say he has just arrived in from New Haven, maybe making a return flight out there. Our next one up is we got the JetBlue Airlines, or it's AT20-300. So he's just riding from Boston and making a return flight out there. In our final aircraft taxiing around for now, we got the Sunwing Airlines, so pretty similar to Andrit. He's just riding from Toronto Pearson and making a return flight out there. And all right, so we'll be moving on to Terminal 1. And yeah, so we've got a few new models over here in the United States. So United has sent some new aircraft over here during the winter season. And it, there's one brand new type that sent finally over to Jaisal, which is really exciting. So start with the first aircraft. So starting the first aircraft, you get the United Separation of Schneider ER. So unfortunately, our jet bridge here um, had a little maintenance issue. It kind of collapsed, so that's a little unfortunate. No passengers or crew were around that or any ground crew. So so that had to go away. Now the jet bridge is against the maintenance. So now this aircraft, they got aboard by stairs. So that's an Abigail Extreme though. So, you know, it's a pretty good um compensation. So... So this United 747 900 ER, we'll say he has just arrived in. We'll do um, I will do um, we could do Washington Washington Dallas for him or, you know what? Never mind. Scratch that. We're going to do um, he's he's Intercontinental. Our next aircraft up is we got the United 747 800. So we'll say this aircraft is just arrived in from San Francisco. They're making a return flight out there. So that is a Gemini One. That's a, and this is a lovely NG model. Speaking of lovely NG models, here we got a brand new model. We got the NG models United Airlines, or it's A321 Neo. This is a really good model. Um, besides the window line being a little too high, but that is a fantastic release. So, this aircraft, he's just riding from Chicago O'Hare, and you're making a return flight out there. Our next aircraft up is a model I've been wanting to get for quite a bit. Is the NG models United Airlines 757 Schooner in the Continental Globe Larry. So, that's some even more, adds some more difference to the 757 lineup. So, 
This aircraft will say he has just arrived in from Newark or Yep, yeah, let's do Newark. So he's just riding from Newark and making a return flight out there. Our next aircraft up is we got the Lufthansa 787 9. We'll say he's just riding from Frankfurt and making a return flight out there. And our next aircraft over here is in, he's pushing back. We got the British Airways 787 10. So, yeah, so he's pushing back for a flight out to London Heathrow. Our next aircraft up is we got the Qatar Airways 777 300ER. So, yeah, so we got the Qatar 777 300ER. This aircraft is, is riding from Doha a few hours ago, and he'll be soon heading right back out there. Our next aircraft up, and he is getting his passengers loaded. We got the NG Miles JetBlue versus the April 20 Winners Tuner and the new livery, the Mint Leafs livery. So we'll say this aircraft is also arrived in from New York John Kidney, making a return flight out there. So that's a pretty popular route. And yeah. Our next aircraft up is we got the Alaska 747-800. Yeah, so this aircraft has just arrived from Portland or in Oregon, and he'll be making a flight out to, we'll do San Francisco for him. Our next flight up is we got the American Airways A321 just tuner in the Transcon configuration. Or we're just gonna do the uh, with Charlotte configuration, just to make it simpler for our airport update. So this aircraft we'll say he has just arrived in we'll do um we'll do Dallas Fort Worth for him, and we can return flight out there in the next few hours. Our next aircraft up is we got the American 737-Andrew with the new winglet logos. So we'll say he's just riding from Charlotte and making a return flight out there. Our next aircraft up is we got the American 737-Andrew in the One World livery. He's just riding from Chicago O'Hare and making a return flight out there. And the final aircraft over, over in Terminal 1 is we got the American Eagle CRD-900. And yeah, he's pushing back for a flight to Washington National, and this flight is operated by PSA Airlines. So before we move on to Terminal 2, let's get some taxing aircraft between the Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. So, starting with the first aircraft, we get the American Eagle, Ember Year J175, and we'll say this is a Republic flight, and he'll, and he'll be heading out to New York LaGuardia. American has kind of downsized their operations a little bit at Jacksonville, so that's kind of unfortunate, but yeah, we'll have to see if they change that in the near future. All right, we got another Southwest aircraft. This time it's another Southwest Max today. Pretty much the same spot as last update, but this is a different one. This is the Gemini Ferg release. So, yeah, so we'll say this aircraft, Um, well, he is just riding from Nashville, and he'll be heading out to, we'll do Atlanta, Georgia for him. And all right, so we'll be starting with Terminal 2. So, yeah, so we'll be starting with the Southwest Airlines section. No, no new models over here, but I got some of my most favorite models here in today's update. Next update, there'll be a bunch of new Southwest models guaranteed because... NG are releasing a bunch of Southwest aircraft, and I might be getting another Phoenix ball that might be a Southwest aircraft. So, yeah, so that's going to be interesting. But anyway, so, so it's on the Southwest section. So we got our first aircraft up is we got the Southwest Sun 47 Max Saint in the Can Blue Retro livery. So Southwest only has two Can Blue Sun 47s left in their fleet that aren't the Retro livery. They got two 700s. Yeah, they're about to be retired soon, though. They're not looking the best, but at least we got two more left, so... Once they're, once they're gone, there will be no more Cane Blue Sub-47 700s, and we'll just be left with the Max 8. So, pretty sad to see, but Southwest has got to move on to the future. So, yeah. So, this Southwest Sub-47 Max 8 has arrived in from Houston Hobby, and we'll be making a return flight out to Dallas Love Field. Moving on to our next aircraft, we're getting the Southwest Sub-47 Max 8 in the hard livery. This is that um, dark livery NG version. Yeah, they really messed up the car on this one. Um... I, I really hope they don't mess up the color on their 700s that are coming out soon in the Max 7. So, the Southwest Sub 47 Max 8 has just arrived from Phoenix Sky Harbor and you'll be heading out to Las Vegas. Our next Southwest aircraft up is we got the beautiful Southwest Missouri 1 Sub 47 700, my favorite Southwest livery, my favorite model in my collection. He's just arrived from Kansas City in Missouri and he'll be heading out to Columbus in Ohio. Our next aircraft up is we got the Southwest 47 800 That's the third NG Malls release, or fourth, whatever you want to call it. So this, so this Southwest 47 800, we'll say he is just arriving from Los Angeles and he'll be heading out to New Orleans. Our next aircraft up is we got another Southwest 47 700. He's just arriving from Charlotte and we'll be heading, sitting out to, we'll do Memphis and Tennessee, something different. Our next Southwest Sun 47 up is we got the blended winglet um, Pain and Miles Southwest Sun 47 7 in the heart livery. So we'll say this aircraft has just arrived in from Salt Lake City and we'll send him out to, we'll do Reno Tahoe International Airport. Our next aircraft up is we got the lovely Injimal Spirit or A320 that's junior with Sharklets. 
yeah, I don't remember if I featured this one last Saturday, but if I didn't, here it is. Um, so this Spirit Air Force A for 20 years shooter has just arrived in from Boston, and we're making a return flight out there. Our next model up is the Spirit Airbus A for 21 as shooter by NG Models. So, I haven't featured this, up, air, this model in the airport update yet, so there you go. So this aircraft is just riding from Dallas-Fort Worth and you're making a return flight out there. Our next aircraft up is the Frontier or it's A320 Neo. So he is just riding from, we'll do um, Trenton today. So he's just riding from Trenton and we'll send him out to, we'll do, also do Chicago here for him. So there's a little competing action there between the ultra low cost carriers. Our next aircraft up is we got the Allegiant or it's A320 Stringer by Panda Models. So he has just arrived in from, we'll do Columbus Rickenbacker for him and We'll send him, yeah, we'll send him out to, um, what's a good route for him? Yeah, I guess we'll, yeah, we'll send him out to Bloomington, a classic route there. And then our final aircraft over at Terminal 2, we've got the Breeze, there was 80, 20, a stranger. We'll say he has just arrived in from, well, he's, well, he has just arrived in from San Diego, which is a new Breeze destination, and we'll send him out to, um, we'll send him out to White Plains today, so... That's it for all the aircraft over at Terminal 2. Let's move on over to Terminal 3. And all right, so we'll be moving on to Terminal 3. We saw the Delta Airlines section. So Terminal 3 has a lot of new models. So, yeah. So this first model is a new model, however. It's the Delta Connection by ERJ-175. So we'll say this aircraft has just arrived in from Cincinnati. and will be making a return flight out there in the next few hours. Our next model up is a brand new NG model. This is the NG model's Delta Airlines. When Star Trek 7 Stranger was supposed to come in our winglet, so... I did do a review of this one also on the channel, and this is an excellent NG model. They really nailed this model, so this is a perfect release. So, this NG model's Delta Safari 7 a Stranger will be heading out to Salt Lake City. Our next model up is another new NG model, is the NG model's Delta vs. A320 Stranger, which also receives a review on my YouTube channel. So, this is an excellent model besides the window line, but other than that, this is a great NG model's release. So, this aircraft is just rising from Raleigh, Durham, and you're making a return flight out there. Our next aircraft up we haven't seen in a little bit is the Delta 757-300, the Flying Pencil. So this aircraft was just riding in from Atlanta, Georgia, and making a return flight out there. Our next model up is we got the WestJet 747-300 by NG Models. He's just riding from Calgary today, and he'll be making a return flight out there. Our next model up, we haven't seen him in an airport day before, so here we got the Gemini Jets Delta 767-300ER. So we'll say he's just riding from Amsterdam Schiphol, and he's making a return flight out there. And our next Delta aircraft, I'm um, sorry about the poor line here, this Delta, some pretty similar stranger here, he's taxing out to the runway, and he's doing a flight out to Los Angeles. All right, so moving on to your next aircraft, we got the Aviation 400, Virgin Atlantic, or it's AV50-1000. So we'll say this aircraft is just riding from London Heathrow, and you're making a return flight out there. That's a beautiful AV400 model. Our next model up is we got the Air France, or it's 850-900. He's just riding from Paris, Charles de Gaulle, and making a return flight out there. So it's just a great Gemini model. Our next aircraft up is we got the Aero Mexico, so pretty similar to Chandra. He's just riding from Mexico City. He'll be making a return flight out there. Moving on to our next aircraft, we got the Air Canada, or it's 830 by HYLJ Wings. So, haven't featured this model in the airport day before, so there you go. This aircraft is just riding from Toronto Pearson, making a return flight out there. So, yeah, Air Canada have up upgaged their um, Toronto stars just because there's a lot of Canadians coming down to Florida during the cold um, Canadian winter season. Our next model up is we got the Air Transit or A321 Neo by NG Models. He's he's also riding from Toronto Pearson, so there you go. Our next model up is we got the Avianca over A320-300. He is just riding from Bogota and making return for others. That's a brand new NG model as well. So that's a great NG model's release. Grateful to have the Avianca regular livery. Any final model in today's update is the Lynx there, but it's a pretty similar to Max 8. So he's just arrived in from Calgary and making a return flight out there. And on that, that, that does conclude this video today. So I'm JT Pilot, and I can thank you all so much for watching this airport update. So... Yes, my airport is evolving uh, over time. And yes, we're back to doing regular airport updates to the channel. These will be monthly, I've decided. So I do have time to do these monthly. So that's great to see. So you'll be seeing one of these every month this year. So, yes. Yeah, so I got a lot of new models in this update. Um, All of them are good. Um, Yeah, I got a lot of new international models. And that's kind of a theme for this year. I really want to diversify my collection even more. And review some more interesting models for you guys. So 
I do have a lot of um, cool models that will be coming in soon. I got the new Gemini's coming in in a few weeks. And then those will begin reviews. Um, those are going to be really interesting because two of those are mold, molds I don't have much of. I got, I'll got i begin the Embraer E2 for the, the Porter Embraer E2. I don't have an E2 in my collection or a Porter model. So that'll be an interesting review. And I can't wait to review Gemini's new mold. I'll be also getting the Salvo 727. I, haven't got, I don't have really many 727s in my collection. So I'm eager to review that one. And I'm also excited for the Gemini United 777. I'll begin soon. And that will be in review also. And I haven't reviewed the Gemini 777 in a little bit. And a lot of you enjoyed that last review of the Gemini 777. So, there you go. Um, yeah, so those reviews will be coming soon. So, I want to give you guys a little channel update. So, I do have some stuff to go over in, in the channel update. So, my airport dates will be returning. Uh, yeah, Jacksonville updates will be returning on a monthly basis. So, that's really exciting. Um, and, that, and then, yeah, and our next video that's coming up is the is the um, model release recap video. So this is will be a new series I'll be doing every month. Um, similar to Citrus Aviation's video where he goes over the re each releases, he goes over all the releases for each month and all the news in the 100 scale. So that's what I'll be doing also in my own version. I'll be making, yeah, making my own version, changing up a little bit. But yes, that, that series will be coming soon. That will be at the end of every month. So the last Friday of every month, you'll be seeing that video. So I'll go over all the new NG releases, Gemini releases, Aero Classics, etc. So, yeah, I want to, yeah, I want to review. I want to give all the one hundred manufacturers. Um, I want to make it fair for all the one hundred manufacturers when they announce models because a lot of times they don't have time to cover all of them. So, and their own video, so might as well just do them all in one video and not just go over the highlights of each release and all the mold news because I really don't get to cover that on my YouTube channel because that's really been an Instagram thing. I want to bring all all that over to YouTube as this is one big video per month. Going over all the new molds, new releases, and any other news in 1400, and maybe community news also. And yeah, so that series will be starting next Friday. So, yes. Yeah, but I've been working on the video. It's going to be a really fun video, and I hope you guys will enjoy that video. So, that will, that series will be every month, and end of every month. Um. So, yeah, so. Then after that video, we'll have those Gemini reviews. Then in February, we'll be beginning a new series. And this series... It's been kind of a little content gap on YouTube for this series for model, for um, models, model wise. So that's a little hint there. But there'll be a new series. Um, yeah, that'll be a new series, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. That's especially be good for new collectors. So that's kind of the hint for that. And then in February we'll have more model reviews than just the airport update. So model reviews have returned. Um, I will no longer be doing massive unboxings. It'll just be the model reviews it makes it easier for one person to find a review of the model event instead of just digging through a massive unboxing video so yes so then it, yeah i know a lot of people just want to see this video of this one model and it's being reviewed in full depth instead of this is sped up process in the unboxing video so there you go um also yeah i like to thank everybody for yeah getting me close to 900 subscribers right at the time of making this video i'm at 898 so i'm almost at 900 so that's really exciting and then I'll be soon, yeah, so I've been getting a lot of new subscribers really soon, so I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. I'd like to thank you all so much for the support. And then, yes, yeah, so my last airport date was my most viewed video ever on this channel, so that's really exciting. So we'll see how much many views this video gets. Um, yeah, yeah, if in case you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, it really helped me out. And once we get to a thousand subscribers, there'll be a Q&A video, and I may have a face reveal. And I will have a face reveal. You finally get to see who's behind this camera the whole time. Um, so that will be coming soon whenever I reach a thousand subscribers and yeah so that'll be a special video that's coming soon um that probably in March or yeah probably around the end of February March when we'll hit a thousand this depends just how many videos we put out this month so and this month and next month so yeah so that's it for the lengthy channel update so yeah I'd like to keep you guys informed so nothing else is happening um besides that so I'd like to, once again, I'd like to thank you all so much for your continued support on all the videos, your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions. And yeah, so. And yeah, that, and that is it. And I have gone over to subscribe routes as well earlier in the video. So yeah, follow subscribe route forms. Um, yeah, we might do a subscribe route special soon. So that is it for the channel today. I'm JT Pilot. And I'd like to thank you all so much for watching this video. And have a wonderful day and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.